We love it when surprising celebrities pop up in our favorite TV shows and movies. But what about the President of the United States? I'm Rose Joss. Welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. Hang out until the end of today's list. You can catch our common features and blooper reel. You can also follow us on social media. Our links are down below. Before Trump became president, he was just another famous name that would occasionally make cameos on different TV shows. Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? Here is today's Top 10 Shocking Times President Donald Trump appeared in a TV show. At the start of our list of number 10 is the time he appeared in The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. All right, I thought I watched every episode of this show, but apparently not because I actually had no idea that this even happened. It did though. Before he was president, he was known to be a successful businessman, and that famous businessman showed up during a 1994 episode titled For Sale by Owner. In the episode, we see Alfonso Ribeiro's character Carlton getting really excited to meet the Donald. He actually gets so excited to a point where he becomes so overwhelmed that he faints in his presence. But things are very different in real life, and the actor spoke on that experience to People Magazine. He said, I look at anything I've done on TV as acting, so that's clear. Clearly the character with his opinions there. Back then, you could love the Donald. Right now, I have a little different opinion of him. I try to stay away from the Donald. You and the rest of America. Next up at number 9 is Days of Our Lives. He made an appearance on the show back in 2005 and since becoming president, that experience has caused a lot of controversy. Shocker. In his episode, he starred in a scene with actress Arianne Zucker, who had nothing but positive things to say about her filming experience with him. She actually called him cute and charming and said he did a good job with the scenes. But that was before footage broke that showed him making inappropriate comments about her and other women. You remember the whole grab them by the pussy comment? Yeah, that one. He had arrived on set and after shaking her hand and meeting the rest of the crew, he didn't realize that his mic was still on. It caught him saying some pretty nasty stuff which he later apologized for and said it was locker room talk. But needless to say, he still was on a Days of Our Lives episode and it is now on his acting resume. So, in the number 8 spot is Saturday Night Live. We have seen a bunch of people do live parody skits on SNL where they completely make a fool out of him, all in good fun of course, but he actually appeared on the show himself. In fact, he was the host. Yep, he did his whole monologue gig at the beginning and then continued to host the entire show. Taryn Gillum, an actor who often imitated Trump on SNL, said that having Donald as the host was rough. Actually, his exact words to the Rolling Stone magazine were, I quote, it was not enjoyable at the time and it's something that only grows more embarrassing and shameful as time goes on. There's nothing good I can take away from that week. It was reported that people were protesting outside the building, yelling, no Trump. Some people thought he was using SNL as a way to help him become president, but judging by his performance, I don't think that's what was going on there. At number 7 is when he was on The Drew Carey Show. It was back in 1987 that he made an appearance on the show during season 2 episode 24. The episode was called New York and Queens, followed Drew and his friends as they take a disastrous road trip to New York City. In the episode they get caught in a bunch of traffic and as they get out of their vehicle they just so happen to run into Donald Trump right there on the street. At first he calls them a bunch of morons. Classic. But then he gives them his box seats at the Yankees game. Surprisingly, there's no bad story to follow this one. People seem to enjoy working with him on the episode, and he did a pretty decent job in the scene. I mean, he's not really acting, he's just making an appearance as himself. So I feel like it's kind of hard to mess that up. But if anyone would find a way to, it would probably be him. Sliding to spot number six is an episode from the TV show The Job. The TV show itself was very short lived and only ran from March 2001 to April 2002. The sitcom aired on ABC and followed the story of a police officer named Mike McNeil and his detective friends. Throughout the series, we see Mike indulge in drugs, alcohol, and adultery. You know, casual stuff. Somehow, Donald Trump found himself in an episode called Elizabeth. He wasn't in it for long, but he appeared long enough to ask a detective if he is banging Elizabeth Hurley. Like I said, casual. Not weird at all. Halfway through the list, number five is Spin City. The American sitcom ran on ABC from September 1996 until April 2002. The series focused around a fictionalized version of the local government of New York City and follows the mayor and his staff around as they run the city. So, of course, during a 1998 episode, Donald Trump had to show up and meet with the mayor. It only makes sense. The episode was called The Paul Laster Story and had Donald playing himself yet again. Personally, I don't think they'd ever give him a different character to play. He's not an actor. 
People want him on their shows for his name and for his Donald Trump character. It's annoying, but I get it. Moving on to number four is an episode from the show The Nanny. The show aired on CBS from 1993 to 1999 and follows a Jewish fashion queen who becomes the nanny to three children from the New York British High Society. Trump made a cameo in 1996 during an episode called The Rosie Show. His performance wasn't anything special. People were more interested in the story that surfaced after about the hilarious request he had when appearing on that TV show. The co creator of the show, Peter Jacobson, told the story and said, We sent the script to Mr. Trump, and in return, I got a message from casting that said, Mr. Trump has a problem with the line above. The line was, Do all you handsome millionaires know each other? I was impressed and thought, isn't it nice that he's humble and doesn't want to call himself a millionaire? Then I read the rest of the note and it said, since he's a billionaire, he would like the line changed accordingly. Well, that sounds about right. Doesn't really surprise me at all. In the third spot is Top Gear USA. It's an American TV series that's based on the BBC series of the same name. The show's presenters are professional racing driver Tanner Faust, actor Adam Ferreira, and automotive analyst Rutledge Wood. For the first two seasons, there would be a celebrity guest each week, which is how Donald Trump ended up in an episode back in 2012. The show invites celebrities for interviews and to drive vehicles around the racetrack, and they try to convince them which one they should get. But in Trump's episode, the guys from Top Gear were tasked to select a high-end convertible for a celebrity buyer, but they were not told who it was. So they had picked their cars ahead of time, and then they had to try their best to convince Trump on the spot to buy their choice. No pressure. Taking over the number two spot is Sex in the City. Chances are you didn't know this cameo ever happened. And if you did, you probably forgot. Thankfully, he did not play a love interest to any of the main babes, but he did have a small speaking role during an episode in season two. In the scene, you can spot him sitting in the background, sipping on a drink and talking to a friend. The script even allowed him to plug his own business, Trump Towers. You can hear him say, listen Ed, I've gotta go, but think about it. I'll be at my office at Trump Towers. So why does he make so many cameos and why did he end up in a show like Sex in the City? Turns out there was a business deal made with Trump that if you want to shoot in one of his buildings, you had to write him in a part. So they literally just found a way to put him into the scene. Earning the number one spot is his appearance on WWE. This is by far the most embarrassing thing I have personally ever watched. Like I actually get secondhand embarrassment by it. And I don't get embarrassed very easily. He didn't appear on the show once. No, that would be crazy. He appeared on it twice, once in 2007 and once in 2009, and of course he appeared as himself. But his craziest appearance of all time was in 2007 at WrestleMania 23 when he did Battle of the Billionaires. Not millionaires, billionaires. Trump went head to head in a battle against the CEO and chairman of the WWE, Vince McMahon. It started when Trump dumped a bunch of money on WWE fans and McMahon decided that the next logical thing to do would be to challenge Trump to a fight, obviously, but they didn't actually wrestle, they had two professional wrestlers square off for them. In the end, Trump won the fight and got to shave McMahon's head in the middle of the ring. It was weird, it was epic, I kinda wanna see it again just because it was so ridiculous. Alright guys, there's our list for today, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know what you're thinking. Although I'm a little scared to see what you guys are going to say because this list is all about Trump and usually that is not a fun conversation. But let's try to keep it light and fun and for now let's do some common shout outs. Lando says, Joss definitely had too much caffeine in the making of this video lol. Nope, that's just me. I am just high on life Lando. Teresa O'Brien says, you two are the perfect complement to each other. Joss is bouncy and Lucy is tood. Yeah, I'd say we balance each other out pretty well. Right Chris? I feel like I'm like too crazy and Lucy kind of just like tones me down a little bit, maybe. Ryan Don Gilly says, hey, you should have nicknamed this video Joss and Lucy talking about scary movies while taking a bubble bath together, lol. Most viewed video ever. Honestly, that is not a bad marketing plan. We really should have. Probably would have got more views. Gracie King says, are we in a parallel universe? I just saw Lucy smiling. Well, it is very rare occasion. It only happened because she was with me, obviously. I can always make her laugh, every time. Well, we made it to the end here, you guys. We got through a list all about Donald Trump, and to me, that is an accomplishment. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss another video, and you can also stay on the screen if you wanna keep watching more of my face. I've been your host, Joss, and I will see you in a future video. It's Monday morning. Remember that song I wrote last week? Do you remember how it went? I forget it. Trump. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Did you see that? It got stuck, then this one got stuck, then like... <laughs>